Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven, and welcome to the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Mighty Quest for Epic Loot just recently came into open beta, which means if you want to play this game, just download it and play it. I have been in the beta for quite a long time, and the game has changed dramatically. In fact, after I stopped playing, the game changed pretty dramatically, so I'm relearning a lot of stuff. Now I've gone through the tutorial already because that part is not really entertaining for folks to watch, but now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the meat of it. I'm going to jump right in to the first castle you can go after on your own outside the tutorial. Old Fort. Typically easy, defense rating of 31. And here's your expected rewards. So you attack. Now I am the archer character. You can choose one of three characters in the beginning. The wizard, the what? basically fighter and the archer. There's also a fourth character if you buy a pack of some kind, I believe, and she's a new character that I've never seen. So I know nothing about her except she appears to be hard rock themed axe wielder. I'm cool with that. <laughs> totally cool with that. So the point of this game, if for those of you who don't know, is you attack other castles, usually player owned castles, and you attempt to steal all their epic loot. And once you do that, break through all their traps, kill all their mobs, you find their treasure and you take it. What was yours? Now that wasn't an actually a player owned castle. That was a computer owned castle, as will all of them be when in this section. Up there is Count Snottingham. I have to eventually become strong enough to beat him, but you see the four next to it? That's your suggested level if you go fight it. I'm still level two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out every castle here in pretty much a set order and move on from there to fight Count Snottingham. Go to work. You die. You all die. Shiny crossbow. I didn't bother equipping in between fights because I didn't think it was terribly important. I'm still at the right level for this. But after this, I'm going to show you character equipment. And just to let you know, I do have my own castle because every player does. It's just you can't do terribly much with it until you've done all of these. And your castle can't be attacked by other players until you're out of this Count Snottingham zone. Away with you! Okay, so I'm just gonna keep murdering along the way. There are different weapon types that each character can use. Like the archer here can use weapon types that involve uh, the tri shot, like this one. It's not Kilgrim! That's not a pun on something very popular to nerds. It couldn't be. So the tri shot thing is a special weapon of his. There's a uh, one that's just a repeater that shoots pretty much as fast as you can click. And then there's other ty weapon types, and each class has their own weapon types. The wizard has a ton of spells, obviously, and specializes in area of effect damage, which is huge. And the paladin slash fighter guy is about durability and strength. So let's go to my inventory. You see the 10 there, that's how many new items I have. I wanted to check which are an increase. If it's in green, that means it'll increase in something. See, the repeater will deal more damage, but I don't get triple shot and it's less health. So what I have is better. Ballista is a piercing shot, but it's really slow. And there's a ring. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Iron crossbow, wait, a uh, pretty significant more damage per second, but I lose health and I lose the triple shot. So I'm going to go with no and equip that. So let's drag items here to sell them. You might notice I have a little pet. He is terrifying. I have no idea what his deal is. Uh, the pets are new to me. I'm assuming they pick up stuff for you. That was, took a while to give me that. Wait, how did I get that achievement? I don't have a ring and I don't have a neck piece. That's awfully strange. <laughs> Why does this say four when I clearly have five health items? Bugs. It's in beta. Just just give it cut it some slack. Alright, so you can buy back stuff from here, or you can go to the blacksmith and craft your own equipment, but it requires you to upgrade your blacksmith. 
Cornelius' Emporium. What's this? This is a new thing. Oh, this is... looks like it's, uh... Yeah, this is cosmetic stuff. Ooh, interesting. I'd love a frosty theme. But this is all stuff you have to buy with real money. See the gem? Yeah, the gem. I have gems. Why do I have gems? I never spent money on this. Weird. Okay, well, that's the Emporium. Here's the Potion Brewery, where you go to brew potions that you can use in other people's castles. Then the Blacksmith that used to craft equipment. Is this the Emporium? That's the Emporium. And here's the Artifice, where you craft other uh, equipment. So I can get a Summoning Portal or a Life Force uh, sh mine. But I also need more rooms. At the moment, I do not... I think I have plenty of rooms. There's a gold mine. You need gold mines and life force mines to get golden life force uh, while you're waiting. However, the downside is that enemy heroes who come in to attack your castle can attack those mines so they get more points at the end. Oops, not what I meant to do at all. So let's go to attack. Let's attack a different building, a different castle. I'll show you a couple more and then we will move on. Okay, so I'm at Shamblington. What passes for a castle these days? Ah ha ha, you got beat up by my bird. So things, uh, your abilities cost both mana, oh yeah, and they all have a cooldown. So you have to manage both when you use them. Ding! Wow, that's a that's a lot more fanfare than I remember it having. Apparently they've been really good at listening to player feedback when they made this game, which is good to know. Because this is one of those games that people were hyped for while it was in development. Some of the other changes that have been occurring since the beta is one, you can move the mouse I mean uh, the camera with the WASD keys. And, ouch, that looked painful. And let me see, what else? Uh, the mini-map in the upper right corner, that's new. And a great deal has changed about how you build your castles. I will go into bigger detail about that later, when I get more and more into actually building your own castle. Do-do-do! Had a cluster shoulder pad. Hope you enjoy cleaning up the mess. So for folks that'll watch this on YouTube later, this is a live stream. So I'll be trying to interact with the chat while I play. So if I'm talking to invisible people, it's not because I'm insane. It's for a completely different reason. Caltrops. Put that in slot two. So you have three tiers, I mean three different types of abilities for every character, I think. They might have more for other characters. But as you gain levels, you'll get access to more, and then you get to choose which ones you want to use. And you can swap those out whenever you want. So, Shamlington's done. You know what? There's only there's only four more castles, so let's just do them all really quick to wrap up this introduction video to Penny Quest. You're going to be far poorer three minutes from now. I love the little comments that your character makes as you enter these places. Especially since they get really cocky and you can just lose horribly. And if you uh, fail to attack someone's castle like you die, they get a benefit. They get stuff too. Ooh, padded clock cloak. I think I could have skipped those enemies if I wanted to. You are timed when you're facing other people's castles. So it's often a good idea to skip things if you can. At least if it stayed the same. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while, and if they've changed it, you might have to kill every monster you find. Alright, you die. I'm getting beat up. Oh, I didn't mean to use a potion. That was awfully dumb of me. I meant to use caltrops and the bird. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my caltrops because I'm not timed. I can take my time. And I'm going to throw it on them. There we go. No, oh, Caltrops drops at my feet. This is information that would have been useful two minutes ago. 
Hey, another green padded cloth tunic. They use colors of loot much like World of Warcraft and most MMOs do. Green is magical, blue is rare, purple is epic, orange is legendary, and I think they go a step above orange in this game. One of the things that people, uh, one of the comments people made about in the beta was that loot didn't actually feel epic, which in a game like called this, the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, that might be a problem. So they upped the rarity of loot, they made it so you get more better loot. More, more of better loot. That sounded really awkward to say. And and then you get to get loot more often. All right, victory. So let's double check our equipment because we got some green equipment. Okay, so this armor says that when I get health orbs, I get more health. And this gives me more health and physical armor. Magical armor. Way better than my previous ring. Way better than my previous shoulder. A shiny crossbow. It also has a triple shot. I would prefer that to 8 health, because I have a lot of health. I don't know if that's a 1 to 1 ratio though for health. Uh, ranger crossbow is pretty decent, but not what I'm going for. It keep in mind that you might want different weapons for different castles you can fight the same castle multiple times you like if you fail once and then you might want to use a different build next time you head in okay so i can craft some better bows they're all level three though so getting one of these would be very powerful for now but it also take a lot of gold and may not be useful i can also get armor same deal uh how much gold do i have I have 600, uh, 677, so I'd only be able to get one piece of equipment anyway. It might be useful to get the neck piece just because I don't have one yet. So I'm tempted there, but all it gives me is mana and magical armor, which I'm not terribly concerned about. And 3% better loot quality isn't something I'm farming for just yet, and I can always get that later. So why don't we go to Puppet Masters attack? The Runaway? Uh, sorry man, I don't have the money to spend on this game at the moment, so I can't play as the Runaway. It would be interesting to check out, but I am not gonna have the ability to buy one for a very long time, because I don't know when money comes in. Yeah. Get some murder on! Padded Cloth Hat. At least I don't think I can buy the Runaway. I had like 56 gems for no reason whatsoever. So unless she's 56 gems. I will double check that though after this to see if that's possible. Hey, I dinged. So a change from the early beta is passing by traps gives you XP. They also might randomly have items next to them, or they might have gold next to them, or life force. Shambalina. Oh, hello! So, traps actually useful to uh, heroes coming into your dungeon. It used to be that you would just load it down with every trap imaginable because nobody would want to attack your dungeon. I mean, your castle, because why am I going to go there? I'm not going to get any loot experience or anything. Now you do. That's you gone. You gone. And I'm taking my time and murdering everything in my way, because why not? Uh-oh, Dr. Bones in the back. I didn't aggro them, so I shouldn't have done that shot, though. The rest of you, go away. There we go. Wow, this music! This is really epic music! No. No. <laughs> Guess they know their audience! And money and life. That's- I'm not bothering raiding computer-owned stuff, by the way. Headshot. Put you there. Uh, no, I don't want to go to Count Stoningham yet because I want to go to Chicken HQ. 
That looks like a barrel of fun. And then after this, I'll recheck if I can buy the runaway, and if I can't, then I'll just move on and kill Stunningham. What's yours will soon be mine. Chickens! Feel like I'm an Ed, Ed and Eddie cartoon. I went the wrong way. So one major thing they changed about your castle but in from previous in the beta to now is that if you make a castle, the only way for it to be active to defend other people is if you run it yourself and you have to kill every single mob and find every single, what's it called? Uh, you have to find every single mine, gold and life force. Otherwise, they won't be active when other people attack it. Which I think is a really good change. It used to be you could just build anything you want. And it also means that you have to run it... It also changes the meta of the game quite a bit. You have to be able to... Uh, what's it called? You have to run it yourself, and you can't sort of cheat the system and run in places that... Uh, and it okay what i'm trying to say is it used to be that you would create a bunch of fake paths so that people would get confused go down the wrong path and waste time even though they wouldn't get anything from it now you have to run that path and you set the time that other people have to get to beat your castle so if you run down the wrong path whoops you waste time, which makes it easier for other people to beat your time. And if they beat your time, they get to steal your loot. So let's double check. I need a diamond pack. So what happens when I say buy now? Obviously, you don't have access to my credit card information, so you're not going to just take it. Uh, what happens? Is There we go. Okay, so if I want to buy the Runaway, it's going to be 15 bucks, and that's definitely not happening. Yep, so none of this is a thing. So no to her. But if I wanted to buy... Oh, I can just swap between these three. Well, that's cool. I don't want to, though. They each seem to have their own loot, I think. Equip that. No. No. Yay! That's a very good one. With that. I got some runaway armor. And a sledgehammer. I'm guessing the... I can save loot for other characters. But I'm not going to. So let's finish selling all this. And get ready to take on Count Nottingham. Difficulty hard. Wow, 291 defense rating. So this is like going to be an actual castle, or at least built sort of like one. All right, so it's time to actually use all my abilities. School is in session. Random acid everywhere. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe the repeater was the right idea? Careful. These snotters are basic range to enemies, but if you stand still for too long, they they deal damage all the same. You. Stun you and headshot. Alright, so that wasn't Count Snottingham, in case you didn't not Pilgrim. Can't go that way. Can I go this way? Did I get trolled? I got trolled. Troll me ding dong. This is a thing that happens. Going down a different path then. Not that way. Let's try this way. Yeah, it's this way. Well played, Count Snottingham. Too bad I'm not timed! Aha! Joke's on you. Snotters! I don't need that gold over there. See, that's one of the other things you have to 
take into effect. Ow. I got hit by a trap. That was dumb. See, so you know, you understand the logic. Ugh. You get the logic when you look at that. It moves clockwise fashion. And it'll always move in a clockwise fashion. So once you understand the logic, it's easy to avoid that trap and not run into it like I did. Now then. There was something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, sometimes you have to avoid loot. Because it's just, you're not going to be fast enough if you go after every single corner and every single piece of loot. Losing the time of attacking someone's castle is way bigger deal than if you didn't get that one thing of like seven gold. What the hell is that? Sl it's like some sort of slime wall. Ah, someone got in my way. There we go. Ew, 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 ew. That's disgusting. Gotcha. Yay, I reached level 5. I think when you gain a level, you actually get healed, too. Oh, you move counterclockwise! That was sneaky. And then the first thing that happens when you get out of it is you're faced with an enemy that has a slow-moving projectile that, if you don't avoid it, deals a ton of damage. So that's the type of strategy you want to employ in maybe your own castle. Yo. Oh. God, and I don't think you get the bubbling acid pools in your own castle, though. This might be unique to Snottingham. T24 experience just for passing through this thing. Oh dear! There we go. Got rid of you. Uh oh. Bone puppeteer. Got you! And that's all of you dead. Hey, a crossbow. And a hat. Oh dear. And that would be tar, which serves only to slow you down. And nope. All of you are dead. I'm the archer is very good with that line attack, but you have to make sure you know when to use it. Because the uh, wizard has a bunch more AoE attacks. <laughs> Thank you for money. No! I will kill all of you. And I missed with the headshot. <laughs> I'm amazing. Try that again. There we go. And I got some blah 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 cuff cuffs. The best kind of cuffs. Ooh, I thread the needle on that one. Alright. Oops! That was the wrong button. Didn't mean to use my potion. Get rid of his minions first, and here's Count Snottingham, a boss unit. Yeah, boss units are something you can use in your own castle. In fact, you usually in most cases, end your castle with a boss unit that the opponent has to fight. Stunned! Of course, you don't have to. I believe you can easily put your boss unit far ahead in the castle if you want. And that's that. Time usually doesn't end until you destroy this, though. Whatever doors in each castle. So that is that for this video. But I'm going to keep streaming for folks who are watching. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a brief look at the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Expect a video coming up where we talk about defending your castle and building your castle.